Hi everyone, welcome to virtualbrigade.com. In this particular video, I'll explain about the logical routing in NSXT. So the logical routers in NSXT provides the distributed routing wherein uh, they will provide the layer 3 services to the virtual machine workloads running in the NSXT environment. So the logical routers will basically provide the north-south uh, stateful uh, services and there is no control VM is needed unlike in NSXV wherein you will deploy the uh, wherein you will deploy the logical routers in the VM form factor but uh, in NSXT the logical routers are the logical constructs running across the transport nodes like ESXi host, KVM host and the uh, NSX edge nodes. There is no dynamic routing protocol needed between the logical routers. Uh, in NSXT, the NSX admin can create two different types of logical routers like Tier 0 logical router and the Tier 1 logical routers wherein the Tier 1 logical routers will always connect to the Tier 0 logical routers. There is no dynamic routing protocol is needed between the Tier 1 logical router and the Tier 0 logical router. So the NSX edge is only needed if north-south connectivity or the services needs to be enabled. On the Tier 1 logical router, you can enable the services like NAT and the, you can also enable the services like Edge Firewall on the Tier 1 logical router. If you want to pro, if you want to configure the services like NAT and the Edge Firewall on the Tier 1 logical router, you, your uh, logical router should be backed by the NSX Edge nodes. So if you don't enable the NAT and the Edge Firewall services on the Tier 1 logical router, you don't really need the NSX Edge. In order to deploy the Tier 0 logical router, you must have the NSX Edge nodes configured as a transport node. And while you are configuring the Tier 0 logical router, the, the graphical user interface will prompt you to select the NSX Edge nodes and the NSX Edge cluster. And the logical routers in NSXT provide the multi-tenancy support, uh, wherein if you, have, uh, if you are the cloud service provider uh, and you have multiple tenants to manage, for each given tenant, uh, you can deploy the Tier 1 logical routers to provide the net, uh, network connectivity to the virtual machine workloads. The logical routers can be configured in the sen uh, single tier architecture and also supports the multi tier architecture. And uh, the, uh, the logical routers in NSXT uh, uh, can be of two different types. Uh, they can be deployed in two different types of logical routers. The Tier 1 logical router, which is often called as a tenant logical router. These are the routers that are owned by the tenants where the tenant administrator can create and configure the tenant logical routers. Where the Tier 0 logical routers are the often called as a provider logical routers, mm -hmm. the Tier 0 logical routers are owned and configured by the cloud management platform uh, uh, providers. So this is the quick introduction to the NSXT logical routing. In my next video, I'll explain about the Tier 1 logical routers wherein I will deploy and configure the Tier 1 logical routers and then I will configure the logical switches and connect to the logical router and I will explain about the graphical user interface. I'll show you the options that we have on the Tier 1 logical router. So I thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel virtualbrigade.com. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Please do subscribe.